Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharv here and today we're going to see how to create a model using Tailwind CSS. Now Tailwind CSS is a library, CSS library as you all know and it is pretty good in styling and in responsiveness. So today we're going to see how to create a model, a responsive model using Tailwind CSS. So we are, be, we are going to use React for this and this is going to be super cool. Also before we go into the demo, I would like to tell you that we are nearly at 775 subscribers and I would really appreciate if you click on the subscribe button and the like button if you really like my content so that we can reach our goal of 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. So yeah, let's get into the demo. So this is our application. We have made this using Next.js which is based on React. So if you are using React, it won't matter it will the process will be completely same just a little tweaks here and there so yeah now when we click on our show model button we will have our model here so notice how the background goes darker than than white so it becomes like grayish uh, it's basically it just increases the opacity or decreases it i don't know how to say it but basically the background is black and it has less opacity so it just shows this darker effect in the background if there was an image it would just darken the image so yeah and also notice how we have the cross button here and when we hover onto it we have a darker effect here as well and also on the buttons so if we click on track order it won't do anything because we haven't decided what to do with it but if we click on close model it will close it and if we also click on the cross it will close the model so this is what we are going to make in this episode so let's get into our code so we have our terminal here let's go ahead and create our next.js application with tailwind pre-installed so we'll say npx create next app uh, i can't type properly today for whatever reason so create next app we will say perfect model and then we will have double dash example with Tailwind CSS. Now we'll hit enter and it will start creating our Next.js application and installing Tailwind CSS in it. Now this process can take some time depending on your system. So I would give it like three to four minutes. Uh, worst case scenario, like 10 minutes uh, depending on your system again. So yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, it's already done in my case. Now we can just go into the directory we will say a cd perfect model and then we can open visual studio code here so i'll say code dot and it should open visual studio code for me perfect now i'll full screen this and uh, now let's go ahead and create a new folder here first thing first we create a new folder and we will call it components this is where our model will reside so we'll create a new file here model.tsx we are using tsx here because basically everything here is using typescript if you are using javascript the method will be almost the same you just won't use typings in your components now we will use the snippet rfc to generate this quick component for us perfect now we need two props here so first of all let's introduce the type because we are using typescript right so type props is equal to and then we need two props first of all we need a prop to determine if we need to show the model or not then the show should be boolean so if it's true then it should show the model if not it should not and then let's set set show now this should be a state function which would update the state and so if we are closing the model it should simply close the model so this this should be a little this will be a little confusing but its type is dispatch and uh, then we use set state action and this should be a boolean perfect now uh, it has automatically detected that it's a function so we don't need to do anything else we will save this and then uh, let's go back to our index.jsx and uh, let's remove everything here we don't need anything from main tool footer like literally nothing now we need a state so a state to manage our uh, if the model is shown or not so let's do that so const show model set show model is equal to u state which is a boolean here should be false by default because of course you don't want to show a model whenever the 
user visits a website it's bad user experience right so yeah now we will just import our component here uh, we need to have it here so that it can be shown whenever the user wants it to so we will say model and then we will say show uh for whatever reason it's not detecting the props because yeah we haven't set the props here so we'll have props and then we will have show set show perfect now let's go back to our index.tsx file now we can simply say show is equal to show model which is the boolean value in this case and set show should be the set show model function so that the model can call these functions and check the value whenever it wants to and it will be just easier for the component so yeah now let's create a button that will trigger the uh, model so this will be a very simple button we won't be focusing much on this because our main focus for this video is the model itself so let's say button class name so first of all padding across x-axis we need it to be 5 then padding across y-axis we need to be 2 then bg yellow 200 for the background of the button then rounded medium so that the button is a little bit rounded so we save the file uh, actually we need to do on click also here on click on click should perform a function which says set show model true so that the model will be displayed as soon as possible so yeah and now we close this and we say show model perfect now let's go ahead and run our server so we'll go into our terminal and we'll say yarn dev perfect now let me bring in a browser window quickly perfect now we'll say localhost 3000 we have a code let's just take this to another tab perfect now we have a, a little model written here so of course uh, for now it's showing model but we will be updating it with a real model and then we will be checking the state if it's true then only the model will be displayed or it would show absolutely nothing that means the model has never not been triggered so let's go ahead and uh, yeah everything is fine now let's go ahead in the model.tsx file and start making changes here first of all we don't need a diff because it might mess up with some layout so we will just say an empty element here and then we will check if show is true or not so if show is true which means um, if we just leave show it or it automatically assumes if show is true or if show exists then we need to have a div so yeah now this is the basic thing here so if the show if the model is triggered then it will render a div but we need to have something right in the div we need to have some kind of styling to show uh, how it's how the model is so if you remember in the model we had a darker background so let's implement that in the parent div because uh, that's where we would be doing that so class name first of all we need the position to be fixed because irrespective of where the model is to be displayed it needs to cover the entire page now then we'll say top zero because we have position fixed we can assign these values top zero left zero right zero bottom zero so it will just stretch across the entire screen now then we will have everything in the center so we'll say flex item center justify center perfect and then we will have a little bit of padding so that it doesn't mess around with the responsiveness of the model perfect and then we will have the background color so bg should be black and we need the bg opacity to be 25 perfect now let's hit save and let's go back to a browser window you already see that the, the darker background right so if you click on show model it immediately go darker so yeah it is definitely working now let's go back here so inside this div we will have the actual model so we will be representing it with a div and we have a class name here so basically the background should be white plain white with full opacity so yeah 
and then we should have padding of 10 to make it neat and clean then it should be rounded a bit so uh, large is still a bit so it won't be a lot of rounded so the max width should be 2xl so that it doesn't just spread across the entire screen and makes it look like a weird model then we need the z index to be 50 and i forgot that we need to also have a z index here so we'll have z index of 40 here perfect and now we need to have uh the position as relative perfect and maybe even overflow by scroll okay i must type it overflow by scroll perfect and this is the thing and now we can just go ahead and type something and if we go back there in the browser and click on show model you see our model is like already ready but we will have some kind of content in it to make it look better so and we also need the cross sign right here so let's go ahead and do that first we will work on the cross sign so let's create a new div and the cross sign will be on the top right side so it is respective of any of the divs so we need to make it absolute so that it's relative to the model div so that's why we gave it gave relative to the parent div which is the model hope that makes any sense so let's go to class name of absolute this so this is the cross mark so yeah and we will have it at top five right five so that there's some spacing between the model borders and the cross sign and then we will have bg gray 300 padding of three we need here rounded full because cross mark should be completely rounded and then we will have hover bg gray 400 so that after we hover it it should darken the cross sign and then we will have the transition so that it, it's smoother it's not just like uh, just change the color right away so we'll have transition intelligence please work transition all and then we will have cursor pointer so that it looks like it's a link perfect and now inside here we will have the cross mark so we have this image right here so i'll just copy and paste it so you can just go ahead and copy this url and this is the cross image we are using if you have an svg it will be even better but for the sake of completing this tutorial quicker i have just inputted a image here perfect now we just hit save perfect now if we go back here now we already see the cross mark right perfect now we need to trigger the uh, model closing using this so let's go ahead and click make an on click in the div so on click on click should trigger a function which should be set show which should be false now if you go back here if you click on the cross the model disappears so so far it's working perfectly fine now let's go ahead and create the content of the model so now after this div everything will be in normal positioning not in absolute positioning so yeah div class name and here in this we will first make the heading so font bold and text to excel i think this should be good for the header and we will say order place successfully we go back and yeah there is some issue here so we can just change the positioning of that so if we just go top three and right three hopefully it fixes that yeah much better because we also will have some content so it won't be a problem i guess we'll see so let's go ahead and have some content here so we will have div class name we, win we need the margin top five we need font medium and we will have some dummy text here so i'll just copy the text you can just copy lorem ipsum or whatever you want to so we'll just paste this text in now let's go back and you see this is yeah kind of decent if you close this yeah this it works perfectly fine now let's create the buttons right here so let's go ahead here and create a new div div class name md5 
and we need space x3 so that there is some space on the x axis there is some spacing between the buttons perfect now we will have two buttons here so button class name and this button should say track order now in the class name we will have px5 padding across the x axis should be 5 padding across the y axis should be 2 so py2 then we need the color to be bg green 500 then text should be white then uh, it should be rounded a bit so let's do rounded md then we need to have some hover transitions so hover bg green 600 and transition all so that it has a smooth effect transition all now we'll just copy and paste this button we just need to change the color so let's do that here we will have bg red 500 and here also bg red 600 let's go ahead and save this and let's go back here so we had to track order we will just say close model here not track order and in the on click of the button we will have a function which does set show false perfect now let's go back to a browser the cross is working perfectly fine track order does nothing for now and if we close the model the model disappears boom it works perfectly fine so this is how you create your own models using tailwind css this method can also be applied to regular javascript and html css if you really want to but there will be some problems with state management because javascript doesn't have state management in build so you need to use some kind of temporary variables or something but yeah this is how you create and react so if you like this quick tutorial make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button to show some support we are really close to 1000 subscribers we are aiming to get to 1000 subscribers in like one and a half month so if you want to support this journey make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial